Hi everyone, this is Zephy from Zephy Scraps. Um, and this is a very impromptu show as my, most of my shows have been the last few days. Um, but I was talking to Manashka or Natasha on YouTube and she was showing a haul. And I mean, she bought stuff for $24 and it was an absolute steal. And I thought I'll just compare what we can buy in Greece for, you know, for, I'll just show you. I'm on the island of Lesbos at the moment. I paid 9 euros 60. I think it's 70 cents to a dollar. Okay, so. So you work it out. So this is. I don't know. We should do a, a conversion. Let's quickly do it. And I'll tell you. Uh, I wish, I really wish we could get stuff so cheap. But we can't. Just bear with me. Nine sixty. I put it in all wrong. Euros to US dollars. Okay, it was twelve dollars. Twelve dollars eighty. And then the other packet I bought was thirteen euros. One three so we got a US dollars seventeen dollars okay I mean um, Natasha had bought stuff for twenty four dollars I wouldn't even dream of buying that stuff here so I got a packet of flowers I'll tell you why because um, I did my draw for my dress form challenge and I'm um, getting the packet ready to send off to Australia and I just wanted a few goodies to decorate my packets with I'll show you in a minute what I'm up to but let me just show you what I bought for um, nine euros so it was a packet of flowers these weren't too okay it's 330 and there's one two three four stems in them these were quite pretty they're like a pl they foam. They're not even paper. But I love the colour. Then I got this. This was two euros a metre. It's like a net. And then I got a roll of this for 270. It's 50 metres. This wasn't too bad. But I love the colour. It's like a coffee colour. So I like that. So that was 960 for these few things. And then I went to um, the funny old man. I'm sure you've heard me talk about the funny old man in the market down in the capital of Metilini. And um, I have a sip of coffee quickly. I'm streaming while my grandson's asleep. So. They have a euro store, so I found these wannabe scotch tapes for a euro for the two, which wasn't bad. Oh, and a little art block for a euro. 
I quite like the paper. I bought another one. It's really nice paper, and I wanted to buy about five now, but this was the last one he had. Really nice paper. I've been using it for tags and stuff. Anyway, so there's this old man in the market who's really grouchy, and he must have had a very nice haberdashery store back in the day. And my father-in-law tells me that he boycotts him because once they went in with my mother-in-law and they wanted to buy fabric. And sorry, I'm bumping the table so my lamp, my camera is moving. So they wanted to buy fabric and they asked him if he can please take down this uh, big roll of fabric. And he says, are you sure you want to buy it? So they said, well, we want to see it. Oh no, he says, if you're not sure you're going to buy it, I'm not taking it down. So ever since then, my father-in-law's never been in there. Anyway, so from a haberdashery store, he has now brought in camo clothes and shirts and shoes and stuff. So the haberdashery is like on the side there, and he often has baskets out on the pavement trying to sell the stuff off. That's where I find the, the vintage buttons for a Euro bag. Anyway, now he didn't have anything and I ventured in. He's really very old, very grouchy. So I asked him today if he can give me a better price and he got all sarcastic with me. So um, he handed over a big tray of braids and he says, we'll take these for 10 euros. I said, I'm just asking you, you know, the stuff is all perished anyway. For instance, this trim on the outside here is perished. Anyway, so this is what I got for 13 euros. I was actually looking for something to wrap around the parcels. Uh, but what I did like very much was this lace. He says it's silk. I don't know how true it is. It may be because it's really very delicate. And that's why I didn't walk out when he got sarcastic with me because I really like this. I don't know how much is on here. It must be about three or four meters. One, two, I'm measuring quickly. Three, four. It's four meters. So I got that. Let me put it aside. Then I got this. This is like elastic. I see a pin in here. Um, I'm on Ustream Girls and my chat keeps on disappearing so if you're on and you're talking to me just bear with me because I need to pop it open I've got two guests here already hello girls um, if you sign in I can see who you are but um, and then I can refer to you by your name but now I'll say hi guests so I, the, I thought it was elastic it isn't it's just cord it's actually quite nice for trimming um, things and I know exactly what I'm going to do with this. I'll tell you about that now. Um, my friend Christina had sent me some tildes. I thought I'd do the tilde challenge. Uh, tildes, it's a Swedish company. I actually don't know the proper name of the company. And they had a, like, a call for projects to put into their Christmas magazine and I don't have any tildes and my friend Christina sent me some images and I actually made a video of it of the packet and some papers and she found me yesterday to ask me if I had uh, made the stuff and I hadn't so I thought I'll make her some match boxes and you know make one for her one for me and send it off okay you can see how perish this is but the braid is actually quite nice I think we can definitely use this so that was quite nice and then um, there's this this looks like old-fashioned seam binding not much of this on here either so I asked him and tell me I said when when are you gonna make your packets of buttons again Oh, he says, well, I've got buttons here. What do you want? I said, no, I can't sit and pick out buttons and squabble with you over the prices. Why don't you make some packets again? And, you know, I'm prepared to just buy potluck. <laughs> so he just looks at me. He must think, this chick is crazy. And my problem is, as soon as I speak Greek, people um, understand that I'm not a local. So they think I'm a crazy stranger. This is really nice stuff. 
You see, it's not a seam binding. I don't know what it is. It stretches though. Look. This should make nice flowers. Um, I don't know if you all saw the video. Jeanette won my um, dress form challenge. And I'm making the stuff to um, the packaging so I can pack her kit. I want to pack it nicely because I just do. Um, I sent off the first kit. That looks quite nice, eh? Hey? Oh, here we go. Hello, Nectaria, are you here? Nectaria, I'll be alive until Nino wakes up. Um, he makes a beeline for my desk. He loves it. So, um, I'll be on. And then I got these for a euro each. So, I'll send some to Jeanette as well. So, that's what I bought. Uh, Natasha, if um, I did this section especially for you. Um, and I actually want to put this section onto YouTube, I think, so that I can show her. So, if you're going to just bear with me a moment, I'm going 